Welcome to the Empire Brothers Rampage, and welcome to a new campaign that I'm going to be starting today for the Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project for Medieval 2 as the Principality of Serbia. We're going to continue, we're going to start off with this today, where at the moment we're going to be going with just the 40 region um, victory conditions, where I also have to kill the Roman Empire, the Bull of Byzantine Empire, which is going to be interesting as that is one of our long victory conditions which is going to be very fascinating uh, but you know we're gonna get on into this again if you guys are enjoying this make sure to give the algorithm its stupid sacrifices to let everybody know that you're enjoying it and also feel free to let me know what you guys think about this campaign i always love hearing people's thoughts in the comments we're gonna get on in here where we start with one individual city <laughs> and we have to uh not die i am trying to think about where are we gonna want to even want to expand to first Eventually, we have to finish off the Byzantine Empire. As long as they get their asses whooped by other people, that shouldn't be that hard. But if they actually get really strong, <laughs> oh, that's going to be interesting to try and have it so we have to defeat them. Like, we already have an endgame boss for this campaign pre-built in, which is kind of great, honestly. But we are going to be playing with uh, this. And I do know we have to be more cautious with our expansion. Um, that is something we're going to have to be very aware of when we do so. So this, so this is yeah, nothing new specifically from this. And then uh, we are currently on the very hard difficulty setting, so we're going to have to be more careful of piety and uh, loyalty because those are just set down lower uh, initially, which is going to be fun for us. On that, we start with just Ras. Um, I do lose money, and at the moment, uh, my faction leader is currently on ground, but we need... Oh my god, that's seriously the territory I need to be crowned. Oh god. That's great. So we just have to have all of Greece, and then I can be crowned. Okay. Uh, do I have any spies? I do not. I have a diplomat. Uh, he's in the city. Yeah, he's in the city. So, let's see. There's rebels around me, right? Just run the That's what I'm probably going to do is my Prince of Serbia. Uh, it's worth it, honestly. Well, let's see. That's, that's Byzantine. I'm going to try and first to talk to you guys. I am allied with them initially, but we have to betray them, which is interesting. So we're going to get some map information with you guys, or try to. We cannot no! I know you're bankrupt, but still, I am as well. Let's see, so... I need to find more land. This looks like Rebel over here. Yeah, this is Rebel over here. Try and see if I can find this city with you. I am not able to. Um, let's take you, and let's get a watchtower right here. Because I need to try and... Oh, God, I forgot how expensive it is. But that does find me the city. Um, it does also look like there's probably something down here. Honestly, I think it's worth it to grab these. Just so we know where this land is. I'm not going to be making much money until we take more land anyways. So we'll have you guys. Um, I for it does take forever to build anything. So for right now... Uh, is this would take 20 turns to get the farming stuff built up. But I'm just going to get the better roads. Getting better roads, it's going to give me a little bit more money over time. And I am okay with that. And then for right now, I don't know what is free upkeep for me, for unit types. Yes. Um, and then I have you guys. These Bulgarian mercenaries, actually pretty decent. I'll probably be grabbing those guys. Slavic guys are not that bad. We're going to be going negative anyways. But let's have it so we're first going to start off with Skadar here. We're going to try and take this territory. So get some siege equipment there. And then, uh, that... Oh, those mercenaries are no longer there. Shit. Uh, let's go back here. Let's do this. I'm just going to send these guys over here to help out. Because they're not free upkeep anyways. And then I want to test out what units are free upkeep for me. So I would like to try and get some better archers. I know you're going to be free upkeep. And I can have up to four units of free upkeep right now. And we do already have a mint here. Since this is my capital. And we do have mines in here. Ooh, I want to get those upgraded if I can. But yeah, so for right now, we're going to try and get you. I know I can get this guy because you will be free upkeep. Um, I think you're free upkeep. And honestly, I probably should get some more cav, actually. Priest too, maybe. I think I'll be able to... I think I'll be okay. But we are going to probably need that to help convert the area. Because for us, we're, we're orthodoxy, right? 
yeah, we are orthodoxy religion, so we are going to have to worry about conversion here for a little bit. But for right now, we're definitely going to be kind of just taking land around here. At least uh, basically focus on these three territories first. Probably going to have uh, some sort of war with uh, Italy at some point, I feel like. We could probably go piss off Venice, I feel like. Maybe we'll try and see if we can avoid a war with Hungary, possibly. Because I could definitely see two expansion paths for us right now. Either... We are very buddy-buddy with the Byzantine Empire until we feel like we are ready to kill them. Or, as soon as we are barely afloat, we start attacking them immediately. Um, and I'm not sure which one I want to go with. We'll have to see. Um, at the moment, thankfully, we don't need mercenaries, so we're not going to have any of them disband. That is something we have to worry about. Um, let's see, I'm playing a very hard difficulty. Yes, I'm aware of that. Also, we're doing the whole, yeah, since we're sieging, uh, we're going to have, it's like, what, 2,000 gold per turn, I think it is, if I'm sieging an area. Our mercenaries need payment. Uh, I currently have no mercenaries, so we're fine. But we're about to take this t city anyways, so we should be okay. Um, but yeah, I guess that's like, the thing I'm debating on, because I know right now, if I just look at... Because I know I'm going to want to take them out as soon as I can, honestly. Because them being... I need to take them out for be, to me to be crowned. Or is it just these three areas? I can't remember. It might be just these three areas that I technically need to control until I can be crowned. It's always a little awkward with this, because I was only ever able to get it to work kind of with my Holy Roman Empire campaign. The st uh, Scotland, it never worked. Um, but yeah, so because we want to compare... Yeah, overall, they are immense compared to me. Uh, other people that would be around me would be Hungary, and then also uh, Venice is nearby, too. Which, all three of them... Oh, technically, there's also Sicily, too. Yeah, they're all stronger than me. Militarily, it's not as far off. I'm closest to Hungary... Venice, and then Sicily. I'll have to see about that, because 40 regions is a lot of land. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to want to do with that. But for now, at least, I don't have a lot of money. Uh, and this is my faction leader out here, right? Uh, Prince of Serbia, yeah, because that was my heir back here. No, great, never mind. You were Grand Prince, you're my king, never mind. Okay, so we've got that. Yeah, we'll start now attacking this territory. Hopefully... Because you aren't free upkeep, but I'll bring you over this way just so we have a little bit more cav with us. And we at least do have some decent units. Like, these guys are pretty good. Uh, there's also the uh, mounted variant of these guys that is also pretty good. And it doesn't look like... Well, I'll know next turn if this guy's free upkeep or not. Hopefully he is. If not, I'll at least have another unit to kind of use to focus on in here. You guys have some basic axemen, some basic spears. General's bodyguard is also... Uh, I think he's this... Yeah, he's this unit right here. Okay, and I think this unit also has a javelin component to it. But hey, we outnumber them about 2 to 1. So let's push on in here, take this, and hopefully I will be making money once we take this. If not, I will have to immediately start rushing towards that other rebel settlement to try and minimize the amount of money I lose and hopefully I don't get too far in the red. At least this camp, this uh, stainless steel uh, historical proof project, I really do kind of appreciate how it does make it really hard to get a really good long campaign because buildings take forever but I do find it interesting that because buildings take so long to develop it doesn't it's not nearly as bad to try and develop an area not to worry about and having money to upgrade more stuff which is kind of nice so like hey we built those roads those roads will be done in like 20 turns um but let's start the battle and then let's see so for the most part this army they did have some archers let's see yeah, the Balkan archers are right there. I'm gonna get you guys. Kind of group up. You guys have a pretty good amount of experience on some of these units. And so we'll kind of speed up a little bit. If they'll let me, I want to try and get in range and be able to try and shoot their infantry or their skirmishers. Some of their spearmen are in range. Let's try and focus on just focusing these guys down. We'll try and get some uh, open areas. Let's have you brain break that spot, that spot. We'll break open several sections so I can try and get my cav on in here. Archers, yeah, can start unloading. You guys can do a decent amount of damage. I'm expecting you to do the most damage. Like, I want to keep this unit alive for a while. You're a really nice unit to start off with. Especially since I know that's, like, why I think my best archer that I can even re recruit right now. So at the moment, they're actually just running away from the walls. So I'm just going to have you guys drop your stuff. Let's get my cav to kind of run on inside. The archers right now are all chilling right here. I see one of you right there. Uh, that's the axeman right there. So I actually want to go to the right side. So go over here. Right there, right there, right there. Let's have my basic infantry kind of run on forward here. 
kind of plug up this area. And then basically we'll have my elites. Let's see, you guys kind of yeah, go right there. Form on up. Archers get closer. Just kind of form up right there. And then my elites and kind of units that are good for flanking kind of go around this side to the left. And ideally, my cav will be able to just rush straight at their archers. Vulcan archers. Did they have two units of archers? I thought they did. I only see one right now. Okay, no, they are both just standing right here. They're standing right next to the uh, general's bodyguard. So what we're going to want to do is... Infantry get a little bit closer here. Because my calf can do some good damage there. We're going to try and run away. Don't fight the general's bodyguard there. So actually pull back. Want to pull back. That was a good charge. Did some good damage. We'll get everybody else up here a little bit. Because we might be able to get my spearmen here. And melee with their archers. There we go. You guys kind of pull up here. Here and here. You guys are still making your way around the side. Yeah, there's some of the archers right there. I'll get my skirmishers to move on closer. Try and get you guys to be able to focus on their infantry. But yeah, now, we're in melee with them, with my spearmen. So these archers should be able to stop firing. Hopefully here too. You guys are making your way over. I want to try to minimize casualties on these units since they're my better units. Cav, all of you guys. Let's go around the back side. And let's start trying to get ready to kind of flank on in the back here. But yeah, my archers. Anybody right now? Let's get a little bit closer here. Here and here. And then all of you guys yeah, help out with the archers. Let's see, these guys. Let's see, I want you to stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stay where you are. I'll you kind of pull up too. We'll have the cab kind of come around this way. Because one of my uh, spearmen broke. Not exactly what we want to see. My general's bodyguard does not have the best command right now. Let's get you over here. Let's see, that's not... That's good. The, the archers are all just right here right now. Let's see, all of you guys focus on this. We'll try and get my cab to help out over here against these levies. See my skirmishers. Fight, focus on the uh, infantry. We don't care about the archers as much. So number one is, yeah, 40 to 7 you guys start charging on in over here to help out. I like how my good guys are already taking a decent amount of damage. I did some good damage there. Kind of pull back, keep cycle charging. Because number Y is now down to 49%. You kind of pull some of those guys back away if you can. There you go. Focus on these guys. Yeah, turn around. Charge them again. 54 to 14. Uh, not the worst. If I can get in here and actually properly start capturing the city center, that'd be great. Most of their infantry is almost dead. It's just the archers who are taking forever to die. But once I full and surround all of them with my calf here, I guess there's just a couple guys here. At least my archers are doing well. Like I do, I always appreciate archer fact focus cav. Uh, uh, oh my god, archer focus factions. Those are always the ones I have the most fun with. I feel like is if they have really good archers. They have some good cap, I do enjoy that as well. But for the most part, they have really good archers. I really appreciate the most. So pull out of here, guys. Archers. Yeah, so just a couple guys here. Hit this these spearmen right now. Once they're dead, then I think... Let's see, these guys, yeah, you're done there. Now to start trying to flank the archers. And that's all that's left. There we go. Yeah, a bit more damage on my infantry than I would have liked. Yeah, 25% of my army overall died there. But that should mean that I might be making enough money from just the reduced upkeep now from us taking this city. And hopefully we'll be able to leave here so that we can uh, keep pushing to the other rebel city. Because we're definitely going to be trying to... We have to consolidate and build ourselves up slowly more often in Stainless Steel uh, Historical Improvement Project. Because I know there's a, a lot more possibilities of rebellions and civil wars. As that happened a lot with my Holy Roman Empire campaign. But there we go. Skadar has now fallen to us. Um, also, I am probably not going to try and say any of the names in this faction because I'm probably going to butcher any of them. If anybody has tips on uh, ways I should be pronouncing them, feel free to let me know. But uh, we, we, we know how it is. I will oftentimes see a name and uh, never question how I say it ever again after I decide on how I'm going to try and say it. So we're going to sack it. That's maybe a bit of money there. I can't repair that right now, though. At least one of you guys is free upkeep now, though. And there are more of these pits, which I do appreciate. 
So we camped the uh, sanct the enemy camp. Um, let's see. So yeah, there is the player aggressive uh, aggressive uh, aggressivity thing that we're gonna have to worry about. Ah, uh, let's see. It depends on the number of qualities of your faction leader, namely if he has a crown, numbers halved, what kind of diplomatic st uh, skills does he have? Conquering back your core provinces is never it an issue. So if it ever exceeds at 12, that's when we have to worry about being considered a warmonger. So we do need to be a bit slower with our expansion. And you guys don't like me. Thank you. I'm going to be going to war with you guys at some point anyways. Um, let's at least jack up the taxes around here because we can do that for right now while we're sitting here. I, I need money. I, it says I'll be making money. Protected profits. So that is partially because of the uh, corruption. We will technically still be losing money. So actually, what do I want to do then? Make yeah, because I can move out of here. Shall not relent, ever. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we need to start making my way over here immediately. I'm going to be in the red just for a little bit. I know I am. But at least this area is happy for right now, so we don't have to worry too much about it. And I'll have another archer right here to join us next turn. Let's see. So army supply line costs. Let's see. So... Uh, yeah, so they don't specifically list what they are here, but if I remember correctly, I think it's... 2,000 for sieging, 750 for in enemy lands, and 500 for at sea, I think it is. Um, uh, our mercenary units disband. Oh my god, were some of those units considered mercenaries? Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> Damn it. Let's see. So, if I go talk to Hunger right now, I'll get some troops. Yes. Gladly. Without question, my lord. Well. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Shall not mm. Mm-hmm. Wait, that guy I just recruited and he was considered a mercenary? Oh my god. That is horrendous. Okay. Oh, oh shit, there was another city there. Oh, that one has more guys, actually. Yeah, this one has less. God damn it, why did I have to consider that archer one too? Let's see, money from the believers! Uh, the low boost is those who collected funds to support your military efforts. The large number of gold coins have just arrived. Awesome, that's useful, but not really that much. Uh, also, I can actually increase my taxes a little bit around here, so let's do that. Honestly, I almost might bring my king over here to help out. He's a really good governor, though, so I'll have him stay here for right now. You guys, I'm a little worried about you guys now here. I still have some cab in here besides my guys, but I hate that I lost so many guys that they get sort of mercenaries. If anything at all, so let's see, so... How far away are they? Oh, I can talk to them next turn. Oh, did I go around the wrong way? What? Why can't you go this way? Oh my god! That's great. Okay, well, we'll still try and walk over that way and uh, see if we're able to talk to them because getting some units right now would be really nice. Disaster strikes Aleppo. I do at least now have money again. Uh, importance of financial reserves. Yep, okay, so here it is. So, uh, guilds, marriages... There's also pirates attacking. Yeah, so we do want to try and actually have a couple, a bit of money in our reserves when we can. Um, from now on, the Orthodox Chapel uh, factions will now be able to build huge cathedrals in their cities. Hell yeah! Beautiful. That's good. actually good for us. More money from believers. Oh, thank you. I really do need that amount of money. Okay, guys, we're probably going to want to make sure that we just push on into this area right now. Although, oh, let's see. This is Rebel down here. Let's go slowly and try and see if maybe we bump into anybody. No. Uh, I found the road. At least follow that now. But I feel like, because uh, I know campaign in foreign lands does make it so we lose some. Um, let's grab you and you. And then let's assault this now. Yeah, so they've got just two of these Balkan archers again. Jonas bodyguard, same thing. It's basically the same setup as last time. Uh, I just have less archers this time. Well, one less archer. I did get another one, so that's that's at least something. But I should be making money after this. Then there's at least one other rebel city that we know of for right now. So I feel like we'll have to go take that one. And then we might have to start kind of consolidating for a little bit. Until we find another area that we're going to want to try and push on into. Let's see, start deployment. Got you guys. Kind of get over here. 
I'll get you guys to move a little bit too. All of these guys. Okay, start the battle. And now let's see. So for right now, my skirmishers, they've got their Balkan archers up here right now initially. They are in range of us. Or they're trying to shoot the guys that are the rams. Okay. Try and break a section there and a section there. All of my skirmishers try and open up over onto you guys. Javelins, you guys might be able to get in range and actually do some good damage into them. Otherwise, I should have you wait until you can hit the general. Yeah, because he's over there. So I'll actually have you stay back. Wouldn't be bad to have you do that. Let's see, just there. Cav group up. There. And yeah, my archers then. You guys are the ones supposed to be focusing on the Balkan archers right now. And hopefully you do some good damage there. Let's see, they're starting to take some damage. A little bit. Yeah, four to two so far. Rams are coming on in. Break those gates down, and then I can try and have my cav make their way on in here to kind of flank a little bit. Balkan archers are firing. Our Let's see, I have spread you guys out. Yeah, spread out, guys. Spread out so we take less damage. Then keep trying to focus fire into the section. Kind of focus on the other one now. Since this guy's down to about half health. Has done its work. Okay, now those are down. Brave now let's get to you guys. Start trying to rush on in. Focus on the spears specifically. Or the archer specifically. And then Cav. Run around the side over here. Like this, you, I think, kind of go around the side. Oh, that's not exactly what I meant, but okay. Because now I'll have it. So Cav, you're going to try and run around... I have to go all the way around to kind of go to this side, but I think that should be okay, because yeah, kind of run over back here. Uh, uh, no, there is a road back here. Yeah, there's a little road pathway back here, so follow that. Javelins, get on over here as well. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing, guys? Okay, you guys should get over here. Archers. Let's see, you're not being shot at as much. They're actually now starting to run and flee. No, don't, don't run my guys. Uh, get up a little bit closer. So those guys are doing well. I want to try and shoot into here if I can. So let's get up to right about there. Javelins will actually bring you guys over here. And I'm going to have you specifically try and target the general's bodyguard. You guys are trying to go around this side. So I'm trying to loop you around. Because these guys are doing well over here. So yeah, you guys... Keep focusing on these guys. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Actually, Cav, just get over here. Cav, help us out. If we surround this guy now, we should be able to possibly break them. That's a little bit better. Let's see. Axemen are coming on in. Archers are firing still. Let's see. Half their enemy army has now died. They're bringing more men over here than I'd like right now. Cav, let's try and get you guys to pull back. Javelins also try and pull back a little bit. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Let's see, because the general... No, these are just axemen. Ignore them for right now. So you kind of go around the side here. Keep trying to chase me, and then I can surround you guys. Okay, you throw things at them. Guard mode on, so you'll actually fire while in melee. This unit took some good damage there. I hate that you won't run down this road. Let's see, pull back again. These three, let's see, helping out here. These archers, you're currently taking out the general right now. Let's see, can you kind of run through this area, please? Only half the enemy force no. remains. Charge over here again, see if they'll break him, especially now that he's actually kind of surrounded properly. These three, keep pushing to the levees. Already blasted the horn. Let's see, you still have ammo. You're out of ammo. Um, let's have you run over here. I'm gonna have you try and help on this side. Because the moment we're winning this section, it's just taking a while. And you have no ammo anyways, so we're gonna run you on into melee. So try and go over to about here. You can stop being spread out. Uh, Cav, oh, that's not what I want. Okay, turn your attention to him. Or actually just pull past, because we wanna get out of here. Get to the city center. Uh, a little bit of damage, but it's better than us being surrounded. Okay, let's go hit these uh, levees. And we're going to want to get away from the general's bodyguard. There we go. Now, will they let me continue controlling the city center? Please? Because if they do, that's perfect. Because I'm losing so many men every time we're fighting right now. 
Okay, if we don't have to, we're not gonna get my guys into melee. Okay, there we go. Did take a little bit more damage than I would have liked there, but hey, we now have been able to claim this territory. And I definitely will be making money now after this. There's one more rebel city at least that I know we can go claim. I don't know if we don't have the religious troops right now to go grab that, so we'll have to maybe try and see if we can get some more. But at least we should be stable. We should not be losing money. And now we can kind of start building ourselves up a little bit more. So we'll sack the area. And then the encamp has been sacked. And also we're going to, again, want to make sure that we don't want to expand too quickly. Otherwise we're going to piss other factions off. Uh, I'm not able to repair the walls right now. Building-wise and recruits-wise, it's a bit off until we can get more troops. Oh, I can get one of you guys again. Ooh. Oh my god, they have an upkeep of 900. <laughs> Forgot how high the upkeep can get with some of these units. Oh yeah, like you at 1,000. Oh god. I am going to get a priest, though. We do need priests. And also, this is something I realized in other campaigns, actually, is that spies help with conversion. Which, that is, in a, that is an amazing and huge thing for this mod, and I'm curious if it's going to help out a ton in this mod. Because in my other campaigns I've done in Medieval 2, it actually has helped out quite a bit. Let's see, some remark on military matters. Um, let's see, so yeah, General uh, commanders should fight in battles personally. General commanders should mine is, you still send him to at least uh, have some uh, experience. Yeah, so we will want to make sure that we do actually try and have you guys fight in melee occasionally. And so I will be, especially like I did in my Poland campaign, I will have uh, generals occasionally go clear out rebels. We want to make sure we try and do that. Especially because of how bad corruption can be in this mod. Um, this is just we're talking about the fact that we want to make sure that we will make sure we have some sort of education for our governors. To try and give them better traits. We will definitely be trying to do that the best we can. And then... Serving the Middle Ages, hopefully this actually doesn't get stuck like last time I was playing this mod. Uh, this just kept showing up no matter whatever happened. Um, I don't know why, but uh, it's interesting now to, keep, to get this now while we are playing as Serbia. Which is very interesting to me, I would say. Especially now that we're going to have to... Again, us having to have the Byzantine Empire as like our endgame faction to kill is going to be kind of interesting. Because I feel like I lean more towards saving them for last. But also I know we will probably want to try and get them to be to do something about them earlier. Um, I will say for you guys right now, we should probably have it. So let's get the mustering hall first around here. You guys can repair your stuff around here. Um, I don't have... Wait, agent not reached? I don't have a single spy. What the hell? That's weird. Okay. Uh, we at least now have my... Bishop, let's see, so 50% and 41%, so I want to send it over here first, I would say. And then I should now be able to talk to the, uh, Hungary. Here they are. So, we just need to talk to you. Because I wonder if I'm going to want to go to war with you guys. I will trade for right now, and we'll try and get map information, if we can. Please don't ask for a shit ton. You're not going to ask for a shit ton? Good. So that way, I can now know what you guys control. You guys control... Okay, so Zagreb directly borders me. So I am bordered by... The only thing I will have is this. This is the last city I can actually go for and take. Beautiful. Um, you've seen some money and some elite units in my capital. Okay, that's not bad, honestly. I will take some of these archers. That's not bad. Um, let's send you guys... Yes, yeah, so can I group up with everybody else? Send you over there. Um, I do kind of want to send back... Well, he can't retrain right now. Um... I might just grab another archer. Honestly. Because we'll probably be leaving behind, like, you here. So we'll be staying here for, like, a three turns, I think, for right now. Just repair this stuff. We're just going to save my money for now. We'll kind of keep building stuff up a little bit. Although I could at least have you... Um, give me a watchtower around here. Kind of build up my vision a little bit. Just so we can see a bit more. I don't have a ton over here, so if I get... Yeah, with those guys, and if there's any mercenaries around here. There's another Balkan archer I could grab. Yeah, that's not that bad. We take those, take this city, that's not too bad. Let's see. Costal army. Yeah, if, if I don't have somebody being led by a general, I do have to worry about this, which does suck sometimes. Architects of the world, yes. To the team that helped us develop stainless steel stock improvement project, I salute you all. Um, I don't know if any of them ever watched my stuff, but it'd be interesting if they ever do. I always find it interesting when people that um, people that develop mod the mods that I'm playing actually notice my campaigns. I, I always find that really interesting. But 
For right now, gift from the council. Hell yeah. Let's see. So, My lord. are you guys happy with just this unit? Yes, you are. Oh, I do appreciate how, at least around here, you guys are not as pissed off about me controlling you guys. Uh, I can get down here, so let's have you move forward first. Uh, I did. Ooh. Hello, Sicily. Um, let me go here for a second. Grab you. And there's some more mercenaries. I'll grab more of the Vulcan mercenaries, because these guys are pretty good. They are expensive, though, which is an issue. But I feel like we're going to have issues with Sicily. I feel like you guys are going to be one of the first factions I'm going to deal with over here. Um, let's see. I can get the grain exchange. I, I really want to get this first, because like that's actually a really good building to get. Um, this will help with conversion, though, so I will say we can grab that. Start building up that. I want to get that mine, though, later on, though, if I can. You guys just need to get the mustering hall so we can get some actual free upkeep around here. And then once you do that, we're going to want to grab the roads next um, for now. Let's see. I do need to still have it, so... Um, who do I want to try and talk to next? I can try and talk to you guys again and see if you'll give me map information now. Are you... Is it undecided? Farewell. They rejected it. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> well, fuck you too. Okay. Um, they didn't like me asking for map information and offering map information. So they're just like, yeah, fuck you. Just get out of here. So they just broke the alliance. Okay. Am I still trading with you guys? Well, I think I'm just going to be attacking the Byzantines immediately. I'm still trading with them. Yeah. Okay, so uh, as long as you don't have a war start out with uh, Sicily, I, I'm just going to start hating them. <laughs> I'm just going to start hating the, their eastern, their western side. Like, why the hell not? Let's see. Work on the mod continues. I can't wait until you guys get to, like, a, point, a 1.0 version of this. I can't wait until we get to that. Um, let's see. So that's good for that. New mission. Send emissary. Hmm. I can uh, gladly do that. Let's see. Uh, trade. Agreed. There we go. Do I want to get map information from you guys? I can try it at least. Proposal, my point. No, uh, this is not likely to happen. Sure. Also, I wonder if I just want to be a dick and just cancel that payment immediately. <laughs> I should be yeah. nice. I think I have enough money that we can pay that. Goodbye. That's fine. I could also just tell them to fuck off though whenever I want to. Uh, but no, down here. Um, yeah, they like giving me these yes. archers. Like is my king. Okay. Uh, keep bringing those guys over to us. We'll be assaulting this city right now. Um, a lot of things going on. Let's see, you guys declare your allies. You've broken your alliance there. Interesting. Okay. Let's see, enemy. And then we're campaigning for lands. I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be. Was it a. Yeah, oh yeah, 1500 for sieging. And then enemy lands is. How much was it? Uh, it doesn't specify. Okay, that's fine. But no, we, we will now assault this territory. Uh, fuck. I forgot to build siege equipment. Wow. Okay. Let's see. So, Kossi, I mean, again, that's just the guys moving through. And hopefully we're not going to have my mercenaries rebel just yet. Um, let's see. So, very hard difficulty. Let's see. So, cost of procuring supplies. So, campaign sailing overseas during sieges. Okay. Um, and then cost of new general, cost of additional faction leader stuff. Cost of new faction air, cost of doing a crusade, cost of keeping a crown. There's just so many little things that can go uh, pile up. Mercenaries need payment. Um, send emissary and talk to Poland. Uh, I almost need to like stop these actually because I'm getting too many random troops. Honestly, uh, I am going to immediately though grab you, push on in here, and then we can assault these guys now. And then do they have? Um, I think they had like actual wooden palisade walls now at this point in time. I think it should be okay though. We our army uh, right now is strong enough that I think we should be okay. We will try and have it so that we will take advantage of the fact that we have a lot of skirmishers. Try and whittle down their army as best as we can before we really start munching into melee with these armies. And then hopefully we'll see what happens with Sicily. Oh, they do have the wooden balance tables. That's okay. I've got a lot of archers though here to try and group up and use. Most of my army's archers. Lovely. 
Okay. So, we'll start the plummet. I'll probably have you guys run forward and get the rams down first. Might actually want to send you over this way, possibly. Yeah, I'll send you over this way. I'm going to send you with all the mercenaries over here. Have it so they can kind of run over here to help flank. All these guys can kind of stay where they are, and we can kind of help out this section. But yeah, for right now, let's get you to the gates, break them down. And then I'm hoping that they'll just run away back to the city center, and I can just shoot them with uh, all my archers. I love how they're just letting me chill here and chuck javelins at them. So keep fr freely doing that. Uh, this gate's open. I'm trying to get this gate now open as well. Because I want to try and bring you guys over here. Let's see. There's really crossbows. Crossbows, Balkan archers. I think we can bring my cab over here as well. Because I can have you guys probably help push through the gates here. Then these archers, uh, I don't think you guys can actually shoot them from here. You're trying. If you can actually get some good shots here, then go for it. I just don't know how accurate you guys are going to be, so we'll try and break down the gates. Yeah, they're trying to get up in the walls. Some of their axemen are here. Yeah, okay, let's have my cav. Let's group you guys over here. I'm going to try and just go rush to the city center to get them to try and run away from the walls. That's number wise at least, four to two. Those axemen might be in the way. Oh, uh, no, there's just barely enough space. Yeah, so Cav, come over here. Right about... There we go. Has done its work. Now is the Do at least fight the archers. Fight the archers with my Cav. So you guys should be able to rush on in there, start doing the that. If we continue like this, we uh, these guys, yep, they're pulling back. Beautiful. So now I'll start getting you guys to kind of run on here. So run up here. There, there, there. And then get all the archers over here as well. We have captured the enemy's walls. There, there, there. And there. And then you. Yeah. Against the ability cross movement, that's fine. Although, if you're going to be shot at, run away. So just run over here, because now they're going to try and shoot you. So pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. And just run around and distract them for right now while my men get on inside the city. You just keep trying to chill. Although, I might have you go over to those guys if possible as well. For right now, though. We want to just get my archers in position to be able to unload into these guys. So, like, start opening fire into the infantry. There, there. You are almost here, so you need to get a little bit closer. Okay, I'm throwing in my infantry over here now to try and distract for a little bit. You guys are trying to run back to the city center. I have been able to do a little bit of damage. Fourth of their armies died so far. Then we'll start trying to unload with a couple of you guys. Yeah, just keep trying to fire into melee right there. And then my archers right now, I'm trying to get these guys to run it inside so you can start firing into them as well. Because number wise, the battle it's is doing very much better. If we remain yeah, those guys broke. Fast, I'm not surprised by that. These guys are now fighting us in melee here. I would love... Oh, you might let me do this. Uh, you guys need to make sure you have guard mode on. Because they're coming towards you. Start opening fire. Cav, I'm going to get you guys ready to possibly try and flank this guy. Running over here. Trying at the Balkan archers. And then hopefully you guys... You have good experience, so I'm expecting you guys to maybe do well in melee here. And keep firing into the Axemen. And I'll try and then flank them with my calf here in a second. Uh, what the hell are you doing? The oh, you are fighting the Heavy Infantry General's Bodyguard and almost killed yourself. Oh, God. Okay, I did not even realize he was right there. Um, right now, though... You guys are winning this fight on your own already, so I'm not going to have to worry too much about that. I will say, though, you're out of ammo. Let's run you around and try and flank these guys. These units here. Let's see. They're doing okay. Yeah, keep firing there. Cavus needs you to stay back. Uh, I'm going to try and see if maybe... If we run over here, we'll maybe flank the, break these guys. Because I'd love to make sure... There we go. Yeah, run them down. Run them down. And then my archers here. Um, focus on those archers there. You guys keep running down the levees. 72%. Come on, come on, come on. Fight the Balkan archers there. The you. Very much you need to run around here. If we remain true and steadfast, and General's bodyguard should probably pull you out now at this point. I want to have too much going on. You guys focus into this guy. Yeah, General, let's pull you back for right now. I think you've taken too much damage. You've done some good work, but let's pull back. Everybody else kind of make their way forward. Yeah, these guys are trying to break. Get melee with those guys. Push forward. Let's see, so you're all now out of ammo. Um, let's see, I should bring you guys over this way. You still have some more ammo. 
There's only about 20% of them left now at this point. It's mainly this Jones bodyguard, which I will have you go over here to the side and keep firing into these guys. Same with you. Kind of go over here. And then these two that are still fighting stay right there. Fire into him. Okay, you guys are pushing forward. Yeah, if the uh, Sicilians want to attack us here, oh, we're going to be fucked. I'm going to hope not, though. Although if I talk to Poland, I'm probably going to get another set of these guys again. I'm going to hope I recover some good amount, because at the moment, I still got a decent chunk of my men. At least it's all the mercenaries, technically, they're the ones taking all the damage for the most part. There we go. Yeah, about 400 casualties, not the worst. Foot versions did a pretty good amount of damage. Yeah, no, I like how th like this unit right here keeps getting a lot of kills. I love it. I can't wait until I can get the Horse Archer variant of those guys. The Horse Archer variant is actually pretty damn good. So I definitely want to get those guys at some point here. But there, now those are all the Rebel Cities that I can take at this point in time. Now, we have to go to war with somebody. Who is the question? Let's see, I should be okay, I think. Looks like let's merge men together. We'll increase taxes here for a little bit. I make a ton of money with Magusa. I should have plenty now that my mercenaries should not be disbanded. Got that mustering hall around there. Um, that's the Den Dan Denmark and Holy Roman Empire. Let's see, shield bear. Nice. Position. Nice. And then we rename the area. Perfect. Okay. And then Gods. this area is a little bit lower for oh, no. Catholic or uh, Orthodox, so we'll convert that. And you guys can actually already try and get some stuff around here. But you know, we're definitely going to be sitting around here for a little bit, just building up these four territories. I think, again, it depends on what happens. Like, if Sicily decides to attack me, I will have to fight back. If they don't and they leave me alone, I will probably actually go for the Byzantine Empire, actually. Uh, possibly there. That's the Venice is also there. I need to talk to you guys at some point. But first, we need to talk to Poland to get that mission finished. Oh, hello. <laughs> God, fucking damn it. Uh, well, Sicily didn't attack me. Them. Sicily didn't attack me, but uh, the Byzantines did. So uh, my f my hands have been forced. Um, I just took some rebels, guys. And they're just going to siege my capital. Technically, this might not be the worst. Uh, simply because I do have that mission. And that mission will put the units into the city, even if I'm being sieged. So I will get some more reinforcements. I will have to hold that I hope that I hold with just that because um, until Sicily moves away from me I don't feel like I can pull those troops I have in the west away so uh, at least I'm making money we're making money right now but fuck this is going to be a hard campaign this, this is going to be a really hard campaign we'll hope we don't die immediately um I will accept you. I do have enough money for that right now. Tribute other policy buildings. Another tribute buildings are one of the... Galaxy can be temporarily de facto permanent. Depends on the choice of the player. And then you guys are like gathering around here. We would see you dead. Hither. Name the field of battle. Okay, we so first and foremost... There. Oh, hey, I got another Jones bodyguard uh, too around here. Perfect. Okay, yes. so um, first and foremost, this. Let me make sure I knew exactly where it was. So we're going to talk to you. you have Trade rights. Do not Barely accepted. Not Try and get some map information. No. Also, I'm going back down here. I'm canceling that uh, money I'm giving them. But yeah, so I was given some units. Yeah, there we go. So I was given these units here. Now it's better. It's more It's more reasonable there. But I am now immediately at war with you guys, which is great. Again, I need you guys to fucking move. Sorry. I also would love to be able to train some of my troops, please. You guys can't get anything around here. I'm going to lower the taxes. Don't want to build those roads yet. I feel like you... Uh, those units are all available right now. Um, I'd want to get the chapel. So for right now... I am just going to have to be sitting here, because I'm hoping you don't attack me. Please leave. 
please leave. Because if I have to defend this city, this army here should actually have a pretty decent chance. Um, you guys, I should have a decent chance around here. Although... Honestly? I actually think we can liberate this right now. I don't think we have to wait. So let's do this. With the two, with, especially since I was given that other cav unit, I think we can win this fight. I'm, bring, I'm gonna be bringing my cat, my uh, my diplomat down south. I need to talk to Sicily. I'm gonna try and see if I can maybe get an alliance with them, maybe. But yeah, so for what we're gonna do right here is we'll start the deployment. We want to get grouped up here, archers, and then what we'll do is my general's bodyguard needs to rush out. This is all dependent on my general's bodyguard. If I slaughter their skirmishers and I get just a free lead to get to um, overwhelm them with my cav, I should win this. See, there's one archer. There's the heavy hitter. That's the captain. He's the one we're going to want to try and focus down with my archers if possible. So they're going to be running up there. So I want... Now, you kind of go over here. Actually, I'll have you go here. You go here. we got to get the archers first. Everybody else is going to kind of just kind of casually walk up. So we don't tire you guys out. I do love how many upgrades you guys start off with. But yeah, now we'll have you charge up here. Get rid of the archers. If you get a really good charge into the archers, that should do the man, honestly. Because, like, what's the stats on these units again? 13 armor, 6 defense skill, 11 charge bonus. Yeah, pretty good. Other archer is over here on the side. Has to charge into them. Just buddy guards charging out. They're trying to unload. And this is a really nice charge here. Where I... Did I instantly just kill it? Yep. Instantly killed that entire unit. Oh, yes. There you go. Half that unit died. That's beautiful. Yeah, Cav, go off to the side here. Battle is very much in our favor. If we Keep remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. And again, we all focus on the skirmishers first. Uh, infantry. We, if they're advancing towards us, we don't need to walk any closer. Just go here. Guard mode. You guys, go here. Yeah, Cav is winning against those guys. I was trying to have these javelin men here. Ignore these guys as they make their way towards us. Those guys are running. Try and run them down. And then help us out with this javelinman. Who's also now routing instantly. Hell yeah. Yeah, if they have a captain, it is so easy to do a hell of a lot of damage to them in this mod. So let's get back over here. Now we need to start dealing with their infantry. Which, that's going to be the bit, uh, bit that's a little bit tougher. So we either want to let them charge straight out up, uh, up to us and get in melee. Or we try and hit them from behind. Which we might be able to do. Maybe go over here. You over here. Ignore this guy. Just ignore him. We've got the speed advantage. We do not need to fight them on their terms. We will fight them on our terms. Which our terms are... I am the new Roman Empire here, guys. Get the fuck out of my land. So, let's kind of charge on here. Yep, broken, broken. Pull back, pull back. Nope, pull back. Pull back, guys. Run over here. Number wise, 75% are already dead. Beautiful. Yeah, run those guys down. Let's get them closer to my uh, archers at the moment. Let's try and get them shot at. So back over this way. And then once they're softened them up, we can charge into these guys. It's like, you can get over here. You can get over here. And they should be in, uh, in range any second now. Yep, there they are. This is the good unit, so this is why I'm a little bit more cautious of it. Okay, charge into the back line here. You get ready. Let's see, fighting, good amount of damage. Pull back. The battle is very much in our favor. Uh, 70 guys. Pull back. Victory will be ours. Yeah, again, this is where the unit's a little tougher. Let's try and charge that once again. Shaken. Pull back through. Good charge here. Nope, you completely fucking missed them. I don't know how you did that. Okay, let's just bring them back towards my archers for right now. As we're going to win at this point in time, 
It just now... Because ideally... I've only lost the units on my drone's bodyguard. So these guys will recover. Nothing get shot at. Maybe you guys will be able to just break from just that. And there we go. So 26 casualties, only on my general's bodyguard. So that's perfect. The king of Serbia says, get the fuck out of here. Veliki, I think I can actually say that name. <laughs> but uh, there we go. So we've been able to push these guys back. It wouldn't have been possible without those archers to help distract. But uh, there we go. So now we've been able to push them back at least once. I still think if they assaulted us offensively, I think we'd be able to defend the city. I am going to try and ransom. I'm trying to be yes. nice. Because, again, we also want to do that more often in uh, Stainless Steel Stark be Improvement. Because I, I have to... I, I don't want to... I get better benefits for being a nice dude in this campaign. Um, let's try... Let's see. What do I want to do? I've got a decent amount of money right now. I don't want to try and build anything right here because you guys are probably just going to attack it. Um... This guy, let's see. I expect to have a decent amount of money right now. I'm trying to train that stuff. You can recruit some stuff around here. Um, grab this guy, because then he'll be free upkeep around there. Try and get the roads around here. And then I think that will be it for that turn. <sighs> I'm just wondering what's going to happen it with you guys. Important. I'm just hoping you guys don't okay. attack me. Sorry. So you're led by I name general, you. you're led by captain. Okay. I just, I can't fight both of you fuckers at once. I can fight Sicily or I can fight the Byzantines. Only one of them I can fight. So I'm still around here. Not exactly what I want. Um, let's see, mind your losses and battles. Yep, we're trying to have it so we're trying to minimize casualties the best we can. New descriptions may be incorrect. Yep, they're still being updated. Um, new mission, send an emissary to Venice. I will gladly, and just keep, again, just continuously giving me more and more units. Gladly. So keep making my way over there. I'm Siege of the Strothron. I see one archer there. Name the field of What's in this you there. Moving to engage. So it's one cab unit, and one archer, and one javelin. Okay. So, if I can do this. We shall not relent, ever. So, let's see. Mercenaries. There's two of those Lucky. guys. Please tell me there's the same mercenaries in this spot. There are none. Yeah, there's no mercenaries yeah. in that spot. So we need to... Oh, shit, I can grab one or the other. Uh, I'd rather grab these guys. If I go to do that, I can bring you over here. That's enough that I will be able to win this fight. I'm very confident in that bit. Um, you go over here and merge men together if you can. Oh, that guy's free upkeep now. Perfect. I can actually leave here possibly then. Um, actually, I could also bring more men over that way if I want. I think we're fine. Name the field of battle. We will meet you there. We have one more archer. I can bring just to these guys. Yes. Holders, my There's a mercenary. There is still happy as it is right now, anyways, too. Uh, lower the taxes so they're not as pissed off. And then let's now fight this battle here. Not relent, ever. Kill these guys off. Enemies, still waiting. I'm still hoping that Sicily fucks off. I'm really hoping they do. I just don't like how they're just continuously sitting there. Like, they did move, but they didn't attack me. Like, once I talk to Venice, I will try and uh, see if I can talk to um, the Venetians as well. Let's get you guys to group up. Kind of make thicker blobs here, because they do have that one cab unit. It's a horse archer, though. Or javelin cab. So I don't expect them to kind of attack us. So what we'll do is uh, go like right there. Right there. We're just going to kind of spread out. Right there, there, there. And then my Jonas bodyguard. So they've got one archer, one spearman, and then one cav unit. I'll try and see if I can get them to just focus on just you need my archers just to do most of this work. All of you also kind of casually walk over this way. Are they going to go towards my archer? Uh, it looks like they might be going towards my archer. Or my, towards my uh, other dude unit. Uh, maybe? They're, they're thinking about it. They are definitely thinking about it. Let's get you guys to go here, 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 and then I'm, I'm probably just gonna go charge up their uh, archer, honestly, because he's just chilling there. Let's get you guys a little bit closer. There, 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 and then you're still walking over here. 
We'll try and just distract. Oh, here comes the cav. Go back, go back. If you guys can focus on any of these units, start firing as soon as you can. You can't fire yet. You can. You can fire. Focus on this horse archer first. He's top priority, honestly. Because if we kill him, then I can easily try and have it so that we can get rid of everybody else. So yeah, just focus on him with my horse archers, or with my archers. Cab just kind of distract. Yeah, took a little bit of damage there. It's okay, okay. I'm trying to get my cab over to their archer now. Because that's probably the main reason why we're taking damage. There we go. 20% already dead. Infantry's just running off. There we go. Archers are dead. Okay. Now, uh, start opening up on that infantry unit. And this should be the end of you guys, really. Because that guy's running. There's only like 11 guys over there. This unit is already being shot at. One good charge to do them in. Now you're trying to get in melee. They're wavering already. I've run them down. I want to get the magic 85. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. <sighs> There's another uh, settlement liberated. And now I, I want to hit this castle. I want to hit the castle they've got around here. It's just I don't have a lot of excess troops. Simply because of the fact that, at the moment right now, I'm just worried about what's going on with Sicily. Let's see, again, we're going to try and ransom. Trying to be nice. They deserve nothing okay. less than death. Now, will shall be obeyed. I'm going to actually have you stand here for a second. We march. I don't want you to be right Resting next to the city. The here. And then, um, let's see, I want to try and do at least one more intern, I think. And then we might be done for today. Let's see. Royal Crowns. The crown system is designed for higher difficulty campaigns. So this is going to be something we definitely need to be able to deal with with our uh, faction at some point. Where we need to be able to crown ourselves. Which does kind of help with the fact that um, we're going to war with the Byzantines so early. Is uh, we'll be able to crown ourselves more effectively uh, early on. Which is good. Sicily, still doing nothing. Uh, don't like that. We are being sieged once again around over here. Um, dude, that's actually Come got some good cab me. in there this time. What else is in that army? So, two cab units. We got some better infantry, uh, some archers this time. Um, a pretty good cab unit. I still think we could probably sally out of that and liberate that. I do see... I think have got two generals' bodyguards. The one thing is I do have to be careful. Your guys' bodyguards are really good. Um, I want to go hit this territory. Uh, like, I'm making some money, barely. I can at least have you guys, like, slowly build stuff up around here. Um, I have... Yes. Let's see, one more turn, once. and then I'll be able to talk to Venice Tomorrow's once again. Again, if you guys weren't here, I would feel like I could probably go down here uh, with all those troops, but I cannot. So for right now, at least... Pardon me, I was wondering if I should maybe just go kill them. Oh, we shouldn't. But I, I do think we would be done for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts happening in general? Let's ramp in, and I'll see you guys next time.